Hello, so welcome to the next square, the 50 stitches crochet long, and this week we're making the star stitch. So the star stitch makes these lovely pretty stars. It's a double sided stitch, it's slightly different on one side, it has this ridge on one side than the other, but otherwise it's a double sided square. So this is the four pointed star. There are five points and six pointed versions as well and it's also called the marguerite stitch and the four points which we're doing now is also known as the simple marguerite stitch okay. so how do we make it we're going to start with a chain of 32 and this stitch starts a bit differently to others. So we're using a three and a half millimeter hook and in the second chain from your hook we're going to pop the hook in, yarn over and pull up a loop. Then yarn over into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. And then one more, yarn over into the stitch yarn over, pull up a loop. So there should be eight loops on your hook and then you yarn over and pull through all eight loops. Then you're going to chain one and that is the start of your star. To finish each star we need row two. It takes two rows to finish each star. Okay, And each one is going to be spread over four stitches. So we're going to put a hook into the chain one we just did, yarn over, pull up a loop, then yarn over into the stitch where we finished that first star stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then in the next two chains, go to yarn over, pull up a loop, and that one as well, and then yarn over, pull through all eight stitches and chain one. I'm just going to adjust the camera a little bit. Here we go. So the fourth stitch we go into is that chain one we just completed. Yarn over, pull up the loop and yarn over into the stitch where we finished the last star. Yarn over, pull up the loop and then in the next two stitches we're going to yarn over and pull up loops. By doing the yarn over we're making the stitches nice and puffy so they're really nice and thick. But you can see the points are starting to come out there. So it really is a pretty stitch. So this is what we're going to do across the chain and we should have 14 stars in total. And you just yarn over and pull up loops. And then pull through all eight stitches. So we don't yarn over before going into this chain one. We just yarn over with the others. And next two as well. One and two and chain one okay so we just finished the chain one hook back into that chain one yarn over pull up a loop yarn over into the stitch where we finished the last star yarn over pull up a loop and then we go into the next two stitches in the chain yarn over and pull up a loop then yarn over pull through all eight loops on your hook chain one and just repeat that all across the chain until you've got 14 stars Two, three, 
three and four. So one, two, three and four. So they're coming up nice and puffy and you can see those points really starting to stand out a bit now. Both sides. One, two, three, and four. Pull through all loops, chain one. Then back into that chain one, pull up a loop. Into the chain we've finished the last stitch, pull up a loop. And into the next two chains, pull up a loop. And then yarn over, pull through all eight loops on your hook, chain one. One, two, three, and fourth stitch, yarn over, pull through, chain one. One, two, Three, four, yarn over, pull through and chain one. So, yeah, this is going to be our last star. So, into the chain one, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, into the stitch we've finished the last star, pull up a loop, yarn over, and into the next two stitches, pull up loops. Pull through all eight loops, chain one, and in that last stitch, we're going to make a half double crochet. And we have row one of the star stitch. So now we need to complete our stars with row two. So we're going to turn, we're going to chain one, and in that first stitch, we're going to make the alternate turning chain. Why did I just yarn over? Let's try that again. One, two, and as always, the turning chain counts as a stitch. Let's pull that tight. Okay, so the rest of the row, we're going to making into the eye of our stars. So that chain one, we're going to make two half double crochet into every one of those eyes. And that completes our star. One, two. So there we go. It completes our stars. And they're now nice and even, points all the way around. So you do that all the way across the row. So we have 14 stars in each row, two half double crochet in each of those eyes, and then we've got a half double crochet on each end, so we've got 30 stitches in total. Two, one, and two, one, two, one, and two, one, and two, 
one and two. So these eyes should be pretty easy to find. They stand out quite well. If they do get hidden, you just kind of, if you give it a little tug, you can see it stand out there. One. Two. One. Two. And one. Two. And last star. One. And two, and then in that turning chain where we started, half double crochet. There we go. Rows one and two gives us our completed stars. Such a pretty stitch, isn't it? Okay, so now we're going to move on to row three. So this stitch is a repeat of rows two and three. So we're going to chain three. Okay, for once we don't have the alternate turning chain, we have to chain three. So I'm going to put my stitch marker in the first loop from the hook. Okay. So in the second loop from the hook, you're going to put your hook into the chain and pull up a loop. In the third chain from your hook, hook into the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop. And yarn over, skip the first stitch and go into the second stitch. And yarn over, pull up a loop. And into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, eight chains on your hook, and pull through, chain one. And that is the start of your next star. So you have to start in the turning chain. You make it exactly the same as you did for row one. It's just that you're making the first two points into your turning chain. Okay, so you start in the second chain from your hook, then the third chain from your hook, Skip the first stitch, those two loops in the first stitch, skip those, and then in the second stitch and the third stitch, that's where you complete your star stitch for this row. Okay, so you need to do that stitch for every one, every odd numbered row. Okay, and then we're going to carry on as we did before. So into the eye of the stitch, the star, pull up a loop. And yarn over into the stitch where the last star finished, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then into the next two stitches, yarn over and pull up a loop. Then yarn over and pull through all eight loops, chain one, and you're starting your next set of stars. So I go back to the original square. Okay. So you can see I did some colour changes in this one. If you're going to do a colour change, always do it after the row of half double crochet so that you, your uh, two rows are the same. So you want your row of stars and your row of half double crochet above to be the same colour. Otherwise you're going to get a star of two halves. So there are 16 rows in total for this stitch. Oops, wrong way. There we go. 16 rows in total, which gives you eight sets of stars, and you'll end on a half double crochet row. So for the borders, top and bottom is a single crochet in every stitch. For the sides, for rows 1 and 16, you want one single crochet in the sides. 
for every other row it's two single crochet and then don't forget to add your corners for the turn and that is all there is to the star stitch so as always please do come over to the Facebook group show us your squares and if you have any questions please do ask always try and help every way I can and I shall see you next time for the next stitch so have fun and bye for now <laughs>